Hello, I'm Richard Bobes, the bald explorer. I'm Julia Hartley, the purple Ranger. warrior. Yes, tree hugger, international, or whatever. Eco warrior. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're here and we're in a park today. We're out exploring. Uh, we're in Worthing this time in Homefield Park, which actually we did talk about doing a, a video in Homefield Park some time ago. Yeah, for part of the park series because Homefield Park is an old Victorian park and has changed over the years. There used to be a, a lovely pond. Yes, it used to be a lot bigger as well. Um, yeah, I think the, uh, the hospital has encroached in a lot of that. Yeah, it has, yeah. Anyway, we're in a, a secluded corner of the park. We're hoping that we don't get attacked by too many uh, oiks. <laughs> <laughs> it is the summer holidays, don't you know? And if you're an oik and you don't like being called an oik, do write in. Uh, and <laughs> On let a 50 pound us... note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll read everyone. Anyway, Today, we're going to do something which, when I was first told about this, I thought was a joke. And I think the bloke who told me, Mr. Darren uh, Dering, um, he thought it was a joke. But actually, we looked, it up, looked this up. It's, yeah. it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, what are we talking about, Julia? We're talking about bark rubbing. About what, sorry? You might think we're barking. Yeah. Bark rubbing. Yeah, we're going to rub ourselves. And get... No, no, that's no, not what no, it is. No, 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 no. That's not the kind of tree love we do, thank you. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> ah, we are actually going to do some bark rubbing, like they used to do uh, when I was at school, with brass rubbings. And you would have, um, you know, various bits. Well, we'll show you in a minute. But first, let's find a tree. Yes. Oh, Ooh. hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Here's a tree. It's a London plane. It is a London plane. It's a lovely London plane. It is. Now, Julia, we yes. know something about the bark of a London plane. We do. Do you know what? What? We could do the bark of a London plane or rub, take a rubbing of the bark of the London plane. Yes. Every week. And we... it'd probably be different. That's right. Because the London plane is unique in as much as the bark drops off. Yes. as a natural thing to cleanse itself yes. uh, which is why uh, when it was uh, planted in the 1600s mid 1600s with the smoky atmosphere of London it's one of those trees that managed to survive because as the soot got in the gaps it would just go shed it piece of cake so I think that would make a lovely tree for a bit of rubbing yes <laughs> yes so I suppose we better show people what you need to make a great rubbing so Julia so Richard, we're going to show you the stuff that you need and it's very simple. You can probably get this from a, a nearby station as if not a supermarket. So what do we need, Julia? What's that? In Charcoal or pastels or crayons? Yes. Or We've pencil. Got a tiny, tiny little stick of um, charcoal or I don't know what that one is. is. It it's chalk? a brown one. Anyway, that's anyway. one of them and you will get mucky hands. So you might need a cloth. The other important thing to make the rubbing on oh, is obviously yeah. A pad, pad of thick paper. Yeah, the, we, we read that the thickness is actually quite important because if you use a thin paper, which is what I first thought in order to get the impressions, but actually thin paper can tear. Yeah, it's going to yeah, break on the bark. Another essential thing is you might think what would be a good idea is to take some drawing pins and pin it into the tree. No, please don't do that. Please don't pin anything in trees. No, use <laughs> nails. About six inch. No, no, no. <laughs> Your hand, or if you must, blue tack. Yeah, or some tape, which you can, yeah, which you can tape work. off, because we don't want to damage any trees. So we've isolated our tree here. So let's go and uh, try a bit of rubbing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. So here we go. What do you think of this? Julia's um, bordered it in black in the charcoal. I thought I'd give it a go with that. I'm not so sure, but. So, well, we can see, I mean, you can get the impression that there are large um, cavities, I suppose, which is true to, to the tree, isn't it? There are large yeah. spaces in the tree. I think it'd be interesting to try a smaller, you know, a smaller grained bark, perhaps. Yes, I think that's a good idea. So. 
that's your um, London plane. Yep. What sort of tree have you got in mind? Uh, oh, well, there's a lovely there. holm oak over there. Oh, yes. Now, they do have very straight um, fissures. Yes. Is that the word? Fissures? Yes. They have a, uh, they have a thinner bark, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Have a look at this one. This this looks more, more like what we want. Yeah. Beautiful texture on the bark there. Mm. And this is the holm oak. Yes. Derived from holly oak because it is an evergreen oak. Oh yeah, that's like, right. Yeah. It is evergreen, but it is an oak. But here's the leaf of a, an oak. This is a dried up leaf of an oak with its lobes, as we, you know, the traditional shape. And here's the uh, single lobed leaves of the holm oak. Which is very different. They're sort of oval shaped, which is interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it? So I reckon this will make a great uh, bark rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> trial I so great so is it is it is it my go to do a bit I of do a... believe it is <laughs> fantastic <laughs> wonderful so let's see what you make of this very different um, so it's so difficult to know whether <laughs> that's a fair representation. Um, we may need finer um, tools, crayons or yeah. tools and what have you, but you know, we're, we're giving it a whirl. Uh, so that's the whole oak. Yeah. I think we should do a couple more and then compare the lot. I think that's a grand idea. Great. So there's plenty of trees here to look for. You pick one. Yeah. I'll pick chosen. one. We'll go off and we'll compare what, we, what we've got and see how that goes. Awesome. Did you enjoy that? I did actually. That was, that was fun actually, wasn't it? It was. Uh, it's, you know, I don't know whether the art is any good or the rubbings are any good, but just doing it, it's a good bit of fun. So, we've gathered them up. Yep. What I should we do with them now? Got some Jamie? stones to lay them down and hold them flat. Oh, good idea. So we can view them all yes. on the ground. Like a mini gallery. Yeah, there we go. So let's start with the first one, which was Holm Oak. Holm Oak. Okay. There we go. Next one was the London, London Plain. Plain. Okay, then what did you do? You did a, did a horse chestnut. A horse chestnut. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well, there we are. That's lovely. And the final one I did was the ash. An ash. What do you think, Julia? Remarkably similar. <laughs> they are a bit similar. Um, I think you really need to know the tree, don't you? If you know the tree, when you first look at them perhaps they do look a little bit like you know we're kids with crayons <laughs> um, but I think it's worth practicing and doing a few more at some point it may be that we can finesse it with pencils yeah I think we should try it with other other crayons materials and other um, I don't know about felt tips I don't know felt tips no that any... won't do any good no that won't be any good um, maybe we need crayons to... would be yeah. a good idea we could probably need to uh, have more patience. We've slightly rushed this because we were videoing it, of course. Um, but I think what's interesting is the the trees with the finer grain will probably come out better mm. than trees with the big grain. Um, but practice, I think, is key. And then after a while, who knows? You could probably make up a gallery, couldn't you? Yeah. And get people to come along and uh, pay huge monies to have that. Now, I know we've been using uh, chalk, which was the brown. Chalk and charcoal. And charcoal. Now, you came up with a great suggestion on how to seal it. Yes, with hairspray. <laughs> Something I don't possess, mm -hmm. hairspray. Is that good for sealing it then? Well, yeah. Oh, right. I, I was an art student once upon a time. <laughs> you, you were, weren't you? I was. Where did you go to art? Um, so you... Fairham College, actually. Oh, there we are. Not renowned for its art, but... Is it not? Not particularly. But I've seen your books and you're very good at your art. Oh, thank you, you very do, much. You should do more. <laughs> Which is great. We now have our hands covered in charcoal, so we need to go and wash and those. And our clothes. And, yes, well, our clothes. Anyway. Sorry about that. Luckily, I've managed to... Um, you don't really notice it on well, this Well, you don't have packet. a bump and things getting in the way. 
I don't. It's true. Uh, Julia, thank you so much for um, coming out with me with bits of paper, bits of chalk and oh, bits of charcoal. That was my pleasure. It was, it was fun. Any actually. excuse Any to excuse hug a tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. So there we go. Um, if you've had a go at this, then do let us know. Write it in the comments. But it is great fun. It gives you an excuse to get in touch with a tree, really. Yeah. Yeah. Not that we need an excuse. No. So there we go. If you've liked the video, give us a big thumbs up. That would be nice. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe. And all of that jazz. Become a patron. Support what we do. That's great. And we'll get out and about and do some more of this sort of stuff. But from Worthing at... Um, Homefield Park. That's right. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. See you next time.